Welcome. We're going to show you how to take one token that's on one network and swap it for something on another network using one of my favorite tools. It's a free tool. And guys, we're going to get you ready for those who would like to purchase a TBA token. We're also going to give you a bonus item and show you how to swap even inside of your trust wallet. So let's go. Welcome, welcome. We're going to show you how to use a really valuable tool when you have one token and you want to switch it into another one and it's on a different network or a different chain. Today, we're going to go from the USDT on the Binance Smart Chain and we're going to convert that to Somatic on the Polygon Network. As I'm going to show you today, I'm going to show you how to use a tool called changenow.io. So we're going to go from the Binance Smart Chain. So that means that you need to have a little bit of BNB in your wallet, which you do. And then the other thing you want to do is make sure that you have your Matic showing. So going to scroll down for me. Let's see if you have some Matic. And you do. If you did it, you would just go down and manage crypto and put in Matic and it'll show up and push the little toggle over. Uh, but here she has it in her wallet. So we're gonna go to Matic and we're gonna get the receive wallet address. That's what we need to know where to send it once we convert it. So she's gonna say copy. Then we're gonna go out by going to your, just gonna type Chrome up at the top and there's Chrome, changenow.io world. So it takes us actually to the real website here. So in this website, you can see that there's an example of changing something from BTC, which is Bitcoin, to Ethereum. We're going to change those parameters by pulling down the BTC. So she's going to be changing from USDT. So she's going to type that up at the top, USDT. And she's going to look for the Binance Smart Chain. It's going to say BSC. So there it is with the black and yellow. And then on the bottom, she's gonna be converting it to Matic. So she's gonna pull down an ETH and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna type up Matic. And there it is. We want the Matic on a Polygon network, the top one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna decide how much. So you said you think you wanna do about 110. Yes. Okay, we're gonna do 110. And the reason we're going to do 110 or maybe 111, because she wants to have, end up with $10 a Matic and 100 in USDT to purchase a token that we're going to be talking about in a second. So I'm going to show you guys how to even convert inside of the trust wallet. So go ahead and uh, pull your uh, slide down a little bit. And we're going to say exchange it. So there you see 111 USDT to it's going to convert to 110 and 64 cents. So this really only costs about 35 cents to, to convert, right? Where you see recipient wallet, I'm going to put your finger there and paste the address that you have on your finger. And guys, you always want to verify, clarify and verify. You see here, it says the last three are 33A1. We'll go back, slide over, back over to the trust wallet. And you can see there, 33A1. So it's correct. So let's go back over to change now. And then you're just going to say confirm. Now, you can go ahead and uh, say allow. They want to send you the notifications that it's done. And then you can say cancel here on that part because it's just letting her know that she's, has a, she's on a Zoom and they're not going to let her a bubble above this. So now is telling her that she needs to send the 111 USDT on the Binance Smart Chain to this wallet address. So all you do is click the two pieces of paper after this long address. So click that. So it'll copy that and it will go back over to the trust wallet. And you want to remember the last three were ED. So back over to the trust wallet. And then we're going to go out back to the main, main screen. One more back. And you're going to go up to the USDT on the Binance Smart Chain. Click that. And then you're going to click send. And we're going to send over, paste the address. And there it is. You can see that the last three are that CED, which we had 
already. And we're going to send over one, one, one. And then we're going to say next. Then it's going to become a black screen for us after she, oh, hers didn't have her to put the password in, hit confirm. She must already have a, um, here it is. She has to put her password in. That's why it becomes a black screen for us. And once she does that, the transaction is going to be on its way. Guys, this takes literally less than probably three, four minutes, maybe five at the max to come back into your wallet as Matic. And you'll see that in just a second. So we can click the X here. The transaction is going. It's processing. And we'll go back over to change now. So hit your three stand-up lines and slide over. And then what's beautiful about this is it has a progress bar at the at the bottom. So scroll down a little bit. And it's going to go through four phases, guys. Scroll down some more. Scroll down. And here are the four phases. It's going to come awaiting deposit. So it's going to wait for the deposit to come into their system. Then it's going to confirm your deposit. Then it's going to exchange it. And then it's going to send it to you. And literally, you'll start seeing these things as it comes over. And this will go really pretty fast because these are two fast networks. The Binance Smart Chain is a is a pretty fast network, as well as the Polygon network is super fast. And so it'll go pretty fast. But I do want to caution you, if you're doing like Bitcoin or Ethereum, those are slow, a little bit slower. So those may take, Bitcoin could take up to 20, 30 minutes. Uh, where Ethereum could take up to, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because a little bit slower, older networks, whereas you have these faster networks that are a little, you know, a little bit faster. Now, I want to say one thing while we wait for this. I'm going to go uh, go back over to your trust wallet for a second. I'm going to show one thing. So inside of your trust wallet, once we get it into Matic, you're going to be able to use the swapping feature from inside of Matic, inside of, sorry, inside of your trust wallet when you're on the same Polygon network. So what we're going to do while we wait for that is she's going to be wanting to change some of this into USDT on the Polygon network. So we want to make sure that that is viable and that she can see that. So as you can see right now, scroll down some more. She has it listed there, but I want to show you guys what happens if you don't have it on your list here, because many of you may not have Matic showing, you may not even have your USDT Polygon showing. So you're going to go into manage crypto at the bottom. And it's very simple. You would just type up at the top USDT. And there's going to be tons of USDTs in here. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for one that says USDT Polygon. But because she has it already showing, it shows up at the top. But many times it's going to be at, you know, closer to about the middle of the screen. But as you can see, the great thing about having a trust wallet is that it's multi-chain. So you can have different chains showing and coins of different chains showing in your profile in your wallet. So she already has it. But if you didn't have it, you would just go to the right and you will push the little button over. And that's how it starts to show up. Okay. So go ahead and hit the back button for me and the back button again. And then um, same thing if you didn't have Matic showing or the actual token that we're going to be purchasing here is a token called TBA. She has it showing here, but if you didn't have it showing, you would do the same thing in this sense, even though TBA is a custom token. So you're going to need to hit that and then hit the plus at the top. And then you're going to, to do a custom token. You have to select the network. So you would click network there. And then you would type up their Matic, right? At the top, because you want to go with the Matic network. There it is, Polygon Matic, right? So that's the Polygon network. And then you would just take the token contract address and paste it in there. And then everything else will populate and you'll just hit import. She already has the token in her wallet, but I just wanted to show you guys how to do that while we wait it. So we're going to go back out all the way back to your main screen. And we're going to go back over and take a look and at our change now. Okay, and we're going to click here. And you guys can see, scroll up some. 
all that time while we were gone, it's already done. It's finished. I didn't get to even show you guys this looping. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So now you can see it's already finished. It's sent it to her. It took only one minute to convert this. So we're going to go back into her wallet. Let's go back to your wallet. And when you come back to your wallet, guys, sometimes it still looks like it's not there. You go ahead and click Matic. Click into the token that you just received. And boom, you'll see that it's there. 109.55. So literally cost 45 cents to get it. So now what we want to do are 25 cents of a USDT. So now what we want to do is we want to convert some of this Matic to USDT. Since it's on the same exact network, on the Polygon network, we can use the internal transfer. So she's going to go up to the three dots where it says more. The three dots on the right next to more. You're going to hit swap and you hit it two times. So you hit swap and then hit it again. And then you can see it wants to swap Matic to USDT on a polygon. A lot of times though, that bottom one won't say USDT. So all you need to do is click in there where the USDT is and then select the actual token that you want. We But hers is because she already has it shown in her wallet. So if I go ahead and hit the back and now we want to, we want to convert a hundred dollars of that you said? Yes. So you're going to do 100 at the top, 100 Matic. And you might want to do 102 because you want to end up with 100. 102 will get you 100. Yep. So 102 will get our 100 in USDT. So you're going to, and you need to do it this way. You don't want to send over USDT and then think you can convert it to Matic because Matic is the gas fee that you need on Polygon. So you definitely want to do convert to Matic first. Okay, guys? Uh, so then you're going to go ahead and say continue. And then it's going to ask for her to confirm this. And then that's it. It's all done. I'm just going to hit the X right there and hit the X again. Sometimes it'll look like this page isn't done, but it is already. So hit the X again. And then in a second, you'll see her Matic is going to go down. You see she has eight left of Matic. So hit the back button for me. Go out to your main page. And then go down to USDT. Go down to USDT on the Polygon and click in it. Remember, I told you guys on the front page, sometimes you have to click in it for it to show up. So there she has 99.90. So it changed just a little bit in the conversion. Uh, so uh, there she has it. And that's how you convert both using change now and using your internal transfer, okay? So you might wanna have just a little bit of a buffer, but there you go, really quick and easy. So hit the back button for me. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to purchase this. Thank you so much for watching. That's exactly how you can switch those tokens in between different networks. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Please like this video and share it with others. And if you're looking to purchase the TBA, please see the next video that shows you how to do it both with Trust Wallet as well as there is one for MetaMask. Thank you and I'll see you on the next video.